Come on, what you got to say, brother? Mary, I'm listening. Mary, you the chosen one. The Holy Spirit is going to perceive you. Right. You're going to have a baby in his name. You'll call him Jesus. Right. Exactly. So what's the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit. I mean, you did this. As if that's it. What's the Holy Spirit? It's, it's a spirit. What is it? It's a spirit. Listen to my question. What is the Holy Does anybody out here know what the Holy Spirit is? We use these words, we read them in the Bible, and we just use them. We don't know what they mean. We don't go into the Bible to see what they say they mean. Now, I'm dealing with you, brother. So you said the Holy Spirit, it overshadowed Mary, right? And then that she would conceive, right? Now, let me ask a question. Let me ask a question. She was conceived wait. by a man because she couldn't uh, uh, be conceived. Okay, I got you. She couldn't. She, she was something different. She couldn't. She was a different thing than a regular human. She was something different. She needed God to impregnate her, right? Right. 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 So now what scripture is that? Don't run off, brother. What scripture is that? I'm still, I want you to break it out. It's right there in the No, no, no. It's Matt, right there in Matthew. Matthew what? Uh, I don't know uh, direct, but it's in there. It's, it's in here somewhere, right? Hold on, hold on. I'm going to come to you as soon as I'm done with him. Now, well, let me show you something that the Bible does say. Go to Acts chapter 13 and verse 23. This is what the Bible says. Now, I'm not just about to make a statement to say it's in there somewhere, right? I'm going to go to the Bible and we're going to read what it actually says. We're going to find out if Christ was born immaculately or if he was born just like everybody else. Like the Bible says. He couldn't be. We're going to read. Read that. Acts chapter 13, verse 23. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You're talking. You got to listen. I listen to you. Now listen to the Bible. Read. Of this man's seed, of this man's what? Of this man's seed, what, the, what is the seed of man? Does anybody know what the seed of man is? It said, of this man's seed. You know what the seed of man is, brother? It's sperm, right? The seed of man is sperm. It said, of this man's seed, we have God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior, Jesus. It said Jesus came of this man's seed. What man? What man? Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Do you acknowledge the scripture? Or, or is this a false Bible and we lying? You. you did, did the, you, wait, wait, wait. You're about to go you. somewhere else. I'm asking a question. Going, going I know, but I want you to deal with what we started with. Did the Bible, yes or no, just said that Jesus came of this man's seed? What man seed? We will get to that. First, but I want to deal with this real quick. Did it say that? No. no, no it didn't say that. No man. Listen, do listen. You, you're not answering. You're not dealing seed. with the question, brother. You I asked it. you plainly. Let's read it again because the brother might have missed it. Read it again. Acts chapter 13, verse 23. Read. Of this man's seed, of this man's seed, read. Have God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior, Jesus. What did that mean? Okay. What? Explain that scripture. That was after Matthew. Explain this scripture. That was after Matthew. Is that the right. explanation? Did he explain? Do you understand now by what he just said? Can't the brother no don't understand. Explain so the brother can edify the brother. No, no, no. Can't no man save you. He, that's not what I asked. Because he you are supposed to be explaining this scripture. Matter of fact, let's get another scripture. Since you can't explain this scripture, that's let's get more scripture. I want to know who this man see. This man, you want to know who this man see was, right? Watch this. Let me get Luke chapter two, verse forty-eight. Let's find out who the man was. You want to, because it said this man see. Let's find out who the man was, right? Let's get that. Luke chapter 2, verse 48. We're going to find out if we just out here. That's what happens when these people come through these Christian churches and they grow up with their stupid philosophies and stuff. They just make statements. They can't go to this book and prove it. Y'all seeing it right now. You keep hearing statements, but nobody, you can't go to the book. What am I doing? I'm telling you what the books say. That's all I'm doing. I'm not making no personal statement. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm showing you what the books say. 
Now, let's see what the book says. Who that man's seed? Who's the man? 2 and 48. Read. Luke chapter 2, verse 48. And when they saw him, they were amazed. When they saw him, when you know the history of what's happening here, Jesus, they left, they went to, um, what did they go to Galilee? I forget. But Jesus stayed behind. And Mary and everybody else left, and they was looking for Jesus, and they was trying to find him. So let's hear the conversation that they had while they were looking for Jesus. Look, read on, read that. And his mother said unto him. So Mary said to Jesus, listen what she says to Jesus. Read. Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Why did you do this to us, son? Why did you stay behind when we all were leaving? That's what was happening. Read. Behold, thy father and I. Who? Thy father and I. Wait a minute. She told Jesus that Jesus, your father and me was looking for you. Let's see. Let's read on. And I have sought thee sorry. Sorry. So now, you're trying to tell me that Jesus, she told Jesus that me and God was walking around looking for you? Is that what she said? He was 12 years old. So Jesus, she told Jesus that me and the Most High God was walking around looking for you. She said, no, your father and I. Watch this. Let's get Matthew. So she said, oh, that's after Matthew. Well, let's go to Matthew. Get Matthew chapter 13, starting verse 55. Watch this. Because he said Mary couldn't conceive with a man. She couldn't conceive. Jesus had brothers and sisters. Where they come from? They just popped out of nowhere too? No. Her husband got her pregnant again. Read. Matthew chapter 13, verse 55. Read. Is not this the carpenter's son? Is this not whose son? Is not this the carpenter's son? The carpenter was Joseph. Read. Is not his mother called Mary? His mother is Mary. His father was the carpenter. The father, Read. The father and his brethren, the James and Joseph and Simon. And hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now his name is his brothers. His name is his family. Jesus wasn't the only child. Jesus had brothers and sisters. Where did they come from? You started off and you said, and we got it on tape. Started off, you said that she couldn't get pregnant by a man. So what, where did they come from? She got pregnant by the Holy Spirit. Again. To to uh, raise Jesus. What is the Holy Spirit? I'm going to ask you again. A spirit. Now I mean, no, 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 watch this. I want you to use that. Get this on everybody. Do you understand what the Holy Spirit is based on what he said? No. Do you understand what the Holy Spirit is based on what he just said? Do you understand what the Holy Spirit is based upon what this brother just said? Would you say that again? Wait, 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 wait. Come, come, come here, my brother. I want you to say that loud in the mic. But no, he don't know what it is because you know, he's, he, he's looking at the book, like everybody else looking at the book. But if you stop and think, you know, the book was wrote by man. And yeah, they say, and say we, were, we are images of God. Of God. Through the inspiration of God. But the point is, wait, wait, get this, brother. Do you now have a better understanding of what the Holy Spirit is based upon the brother's explanation? Holy Spirit was the word sent. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Say that again, brother. The Holy Spirit was the word sent. The, 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 the brother word. has a better understanding of the Holy Spirit than this brother. Let's read, let's read what that brother just said. Let me get Acts chapter 2, I mean Acts chapter 4 and verse 30. Watch this. I think 30, 31. Read, check it for me. I can't remember. It might be 31. We're going to find out what the Holy Spirit is. First, we're going to find out we're going to read the Holy Ghost, and then we're going to go to the Spirit. And they're going to both be the same thing. But we're going to read it out of the Bible. We're not going to make up stuff and just make statements and walk around and just let stuff fall out our behind and say, this is what the Bible says somewhere. That's right. It's in there somewhere. If somebody tell you it's in there somewhere, ain't lying because it ain't in there. If somebody tell you it's in there and they read it, that's when you say, okay, that's, that's, that's true. That's true according to the Bible. Read that. Acts chapter 4, verse 31. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were filled with what? The Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And they spake the word. They spake what? And they spake the word of God with boldness. The Holy Ghost is the word of God. That's right. They were filled with it and they spake it with boldness. Like this is another thing. When the people say that Mary got pregnant by a spirit. It's because it says she was overcome. It also says that Zechariah was over overcome with the Spirit, Holy Spirit. Why didn't he get pregnant? It said that Elizabeth was overcome with the Holy Spirit. Why didn't she get pregnant? 
No, but when Mary, she get overcome with the Holy Spirit, she get pregnant. Why are we with her? Oh, truth come out and y'all run in. Super Christian turned athlete. It's time to go. He it's time in. to go, brother. Now, let's get the Holy Spirit. Let's get John 6 and 63. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.